What's going on everybody, Mike Hill Hobbies. I've got some solar motion lights from Ingrid Po. These things are really, really cool. We're gonna go ahead and dive right into this one. This is the solar motion lights offered by Ingrid Pro. They come in a single pack, a two pack, or you can get them in a four pack. The model is DPT-80. They are a lightweight ABS construction. And as you can see, there is a whole bunch of LEDs in here. You got your motion sensor and you have your on off selector switch. There's three options to operate these. The first option is going to be off. And then when it detects motion, the light will come on fully illuminated for 20 seconds or until motion is not detected any longer. The second option is going to be on at a lower light level. And then when motion is detected, it will fully illuminate for 20 seconds or until motion is no longer detected. For your third option, it is going to be on, fully illuminated the whole time, and that is gonna be anywhere between three to four hours of operational time. They are solar powered, so yes, you do need to make sure this solar panel is in sunlight during the day. The motion sensor works anywhere between 10 to 25 feet, and that has a 120 degree radius. This is the ABS plastic mount and as you can see it is at an angle so when you put the solar panel on here it has an angle just like that if you are on a flat wall. Also you get the provided hardware. This has everything to mount these. It has inserts if you need them, screws, and also the set screw which goes in here to keep the light to the mounting base. Of course, you get your instruction manual in here, and this does have 168 LEDs. The color temperature is 6500K, and it has a 2200 milliamp hour lithium battery inside of here. The solar panel is a six volt, three watt monocrystalline silicone solar panel, so it's more efficient in charging the 2200 milliamp hour lithium battery that's included in here. Operating the light is very easy. You have your on off selector switch right here. You're simply gonna push that and switch through your options, whether it's gonna be one, two, or three. Right here on the base, this hole right here, that is where the set screw will go through to hold the light to the mounting fixture. Go ahead and move these to the side and open up the other two pack here. And you can see everything is in there nice and tidy. You have your two mounts when you get the two pack and your two light heads, which have the solar panels integrated, your instruction manual and your hardware. This is a lightweight ABS plastic. Also, these have an IP65 weather rating. Once you have your location set for where you're gonna mount these, you're simply gonna take the base, use the provided hardware, mount the base, and then put the light head on there, use the set screw to set that in place. Then use the selector switch to go ahead and choose the run option that you are going to operate at. Okay, once you have your set location, go ahead and use the provided hardware to mount the base, or you can use some all-weather hardware like I am using here. So you can go ahead and take your hardware and your drill and go ahead and mount this right up. And you can do it with the light already on the base, or you could put the light on the base at this point. So I went ahead and put two on the back of my detached garage. This area back here is pretty dark at night. So this is definitely gonna help light up this area. And there is plenty of sunlight during the day to charge those. So these should work just beautifully. Once you have these lights up or just before you put them up, make sure you use the selector switch to choose the option that you would like. Or you can simply go back and change it if you would like to use a different option. Normally this area is pitch black from all of the tree canopy. Still a little bit light outside, but normally this area right here is pitch black, just like that right there. But this light is providing a very good amount of light. This is on setting number three. So that light will stay that brightness for three to four hours on a full charge. And this light here I have now on the setting number two. So this is a low light 
and then when it detects motion it will switch to full illumination so I'll walk over there and it detected me so now that light is full power very bright light gives a nice wide range of light those two light this whole back area up here and this area like i said was completely pitch black around this time before so these are a really great addition for adding a nice light source that is solar powered and lastly on the back side of the eve here i've got this one set to the first setting so this is off and then full light once it detects motion. And you can see that is quite a bit of light. A nice wide range there. Extremely bright. Brightens up the area quite well. As you can see, it makes a nice wide pattern of light the detection sensor has a very quick pickup for the sensor so as soon as it detects it lights up very quickly and here you can see the difference from the dim to full brightness a very very nice light if you're looking for a solar motion sensor light these are definitely a very good option. Appreciate everybody watching. Bye now.